Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 2 of our simple Space Invaders game. In today's episode, we will be setting up the Paradox accounts. But, for, but, but first, I will tell you the changes we made, well, I made to all collisions since last time. So last time you could go through the wall, and you like disappeared, even though we tried something, and, but it didn't work. But now you can't. As you can hear my key. And then over here, same thing. So, the way we did this, um, but yeah, so, uh, yeah. Um, first in the create, we will change the Y width instead of the. Uh, what was it? Instead of the window, wait. I instead of display at all, display underscore get width underscore width, it will be window underscore get underscore width. So that's the one thing you have to change there: window instead of display. Um, and then. Um, we will in this step we will add to this, which was just this last time, with one bracket and just that. Uh, we will add plus open bracket sprite and our width divided by two, and then close bracket, and we'll add that to this too. And then here we'll do the same thing, except it won't be a plus; it'll be a subtract, and it'll be my width. Okay, now onto the projectiles after we've got that worked out. First, we will create a new sprite. We will name it SPR underscore bullet. We'll edit the image and then we'll create our own bullet, And but it doesn't have to look like mine, just design your own. I don't know. Let's see. Actually, I'm gonna make it. Mm. I'm gonna make it a, a simple laser. Just a single beam. Try to center it. Manual center. Collision mask. We'll just check that. Manual. Okay, it's not showing up. Okay. Weird. Okay, whatever. But yeah, so that's. So that is our, my bullet. And then you can close that. Make sure it's saved. Then in objects, you create an object like last time, obj underscore bullet. And we'll set the sprite to the bullet. And then that's how we created it. And now we'll create a create event in the bullet. And we'll put in this code. We'll, we'll put a description just so we know what it is later on. Because it can get a bit com um, complex later on. Like, we're we'll trying to look through. So, we'll label it set up motion. And then we'll do this code. So, the direction will equal the point underscore direction. Direction open bracket of the x of the bullet y of the, the y of the bullet and then the mouse is x and the mouse is y what y mouse underscore y okay that's the first line then we'll do direction also equals direct 
Hmm. Plus random small range. And this is just how it gets like instead of going straight, it'll have like a little curve to it. Like it'll be random if it like curves a little bit this way or just a little bit this way. And then I'll show you how that how like it's different. Minus four and four. And then finally Oh no finally, hold on. I will set the speed variable to sixteen. But actually it's not a variable. In norm we're not using the SPD variable we created last time. We're using speed, which is the built in one, because we want to we want to use that one this time, just for this. Now we'll also set the image angle oops, image angle to equal the direction so that it's not like so that if the bullet is about for you guys if you have like an arrow or like a thing that has a tail a tail if it's pointing up but if you're shooting down you don't want it to be like pointing up but like going down it looks weird so you want it to look at the angle the image to be facing the direction so if it's down we'll be face down and so on and that's all we have to do here um now back in the player we'll go back to the player now we'll in the step we're going to set up the check-in to see if you like click it with your left mouse to shoot and um so to do that we will do it actually no first we have to go here we I don't know what happened there we have to set another variable cooldown because we don't want it to go right away so like we don't want it to be like <laughs> like so it's infinite like we right away you kind of want to like cool down period so we'll set it to zero at first so it can shoot right away and then we'll do if Mouse chat button MB mouse button left because we want the left one, not the right one. Um, <laughs> and then we'll close that. And you have to put two and signs to make it so it does and. But instead of just the one, because then it doesn't know what the one is. And cool down. Is less than or equal to, because if it's below, um, then it still has to, you can go, because it will still keep going down. So then if it was zero, you'd have to like click it right away at that time and it wouldn't be that good. So cooldown is zero. Then in it will create with the instance underscore create underscore layer open bracket x y at the player. So at the player's location, it will create on the bullets layer we'll create that layer in a second and you have to put it in the um, quotation marks oh it will create the object of bullet and then cooldown will then equal five so that it then has to go down and then down here cool down is equal to cool down minus one and that's just gonna make sure that it actually goes down and you don't not and not you can't only shoot once and then we'll go to the room game i'll go to this 
and this is create new instance there, so we'll create one. It will be below because you want it to be under the shooter. So it will be below. I will name it bullets layer, like we said in our script. See, bullets layer, and then before we go down here I'll take this out and we'll see when we play it what it looks like without random range and what it does look like with it, with it. see now you can shoot and move and shoot and move and shoot oh actually hold on we'll turn this can I return this? Mm. We'll just we'll create this sideways because we don't want it to be like sideways. So we'll just create this like this. Like that. And then yeah, that should work. We'll go back in here and we'll flip it because it's weird that way. And now look. And you can't get through the walls and everything's good. You can even make the cooldown longer. But as you can see, so if we shoot in a straight line though, it just stays there. But if we go here and we actually put make this code like it uses it, then If you shoot straight, it wasn't won't always go straight, perfectly straight, which is kind of cool because then you have to like shoot like it's really it makes it look better. Um, yeah, you can make the cooldown longer if you want to. So cooldown equals twenty, maybe. No, no. If you want to make it more than one second, you have to make it more than 60 because it's 60 frames a second and this is every frame. So maybe 120. That would be two seconds. See? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. One Mississippi. Yeah. This should be two seconds. And then. Um, yeah, and you can make it shorter or longer depending on what type of game you want to make. But in this tutorial, we're going to leave it at 5 because 5 seems pretty good. So you can shoot multiple times a second, but not too, too fast that it's like, ah, uh, it's like infinite. Let's see, say we set this to 0. We can always shoot. There's not even going to be a delay. So look just overpowered because then you'll be able to like we just everything's dead and that's not gonna be fun but yeah as you can see it's kind of perfect and yeah so that's all for today and thanks for watching next time we will be adding the first enemies and we'll making them be able to kill you by um, hitting you and possibly shooting you. We'll see. See you next time.